So here's the deal. I want to take a look. I've been as black playing a brand new repertoire and I think I may have just discovered a really cool gambit. I, I do want to preface it. This is going to be really dubious. Like, I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily know. Do you want this attached to your name or not? But uh, anyway, here's the deal. The gambit comes after e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6. I'm starting to do this now as black and against the Italian game. Uh, I'm trying to come up with a new repertoire is what I'm saying against e4, e5. And against the Italian game, I'm trying to play the Gioco piano. A part of me is trying to turn a new wing. I want to be one of the most positionally solid players on the planet. But a lot of the times you start with something that's really solid with this, and then things turn around and you can make, even out of the Gioco piano, some absolutely insane complications. What we're going to see here today, I actually need your help. I need your help on Twitch. And I might even need your help on YouTube if we still don't have a name. I'm assuming we're going to come up with a name tonight. But if not, as we go along, when you see the gambit, whatever strikes you, I'm temporarily calling this the weasel. But that I'm not committed to it. I'm not committed to the weasel counter gambit. But I am committed to becoming a Gioco piano player. And the thing that I find that people keep playing here, there's all these moves. You know, there's c3, castles, d3, b4, knight to c3, I guess. The one I keep running into the most here on Leeches is B4. I run into the Evans Gambit quite a bit. So first of all, I was just trying to come up with something new. A lot of the times when I'm seeing an opening for the first time and I'm trying to prepare something, what I want to do is, obviously you look at some of the main lines, but sometimes you're like, well, why doesn't some other mysterious line work? And I spend a lot of time looking for very early on deviations and trying to see what works. And in this case, I'm going to present you guys a brand new gambit. First of all, we are going to accept the Evans gambit. Everybody ever plays C3. And White's point is that they're going to play D4. And the first thing I kind of came up with is a solid option. We're going to return to this position. There's a gambit right here in the main, main, main line. Uh, some people may have already come up with it on their own. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's some stuff. And I think maybe the solid reply, I was kind of looking at, you know, bishop e7 is actually a pretty solid line. There's some lines where you go here, and then maybe you play d6. Maybe you can turn this into a solid line. There's a lot of, a lot of interesting stuff. But uh, I guess somebody did come up with it. Worst support UK is uh, was able to come up with this amazing move, pawn to f5 which uh, is remarkable. Again, this is a very dubious opening, but it has some remarkable points to it. First of all, uh, if you put this on Stockfish, and, and there's no reason to hide the true evaluation, it's gonna say like plus three. Okay, so it, it's looking bad. Things are looking grim for this gambit. Um, but here's kind of the interesting point. After they take, which obviously they're going to, we play kind of like a, some sort of weird uh, Halloween gambit where we now take here. And the point is we're trying to repel the knight and then build a huge center. So already though, let me know in the chat, let me put the chat on the screen temporarily. Um, what move would you guys play right here? I think there are some obvious moves. So don't, don't feel like your move is too obvious. Let me know what you guys would actually play right here. Um, so if you were white, king to e2 is obviously the first thing they would say on Twitch. Knight takes e5, giving it back. But imagine you're, you're really trying to refute it. You really want to refute it. Castling, giving a knight. Everybody wants to actually give the, the thing back. b5 being suggested several times. Knight to g1 being suggested uh, several times. Castling giving the piece back, that's actually really interesting. So some people want to find a way to just give it back right away. That's people's first uh, instincts. A lot of people want to play knight to g8, and a lot of people want to play b5. And I will tell you, one of these moves is a lot better than the rest of them. So I appreciate you guys <laughs> chiming in. Because I think for a ton, a ton, a ton of people, uh, they would just go back. Like, you get attacked, you just go back instantly. 
So a move like this, actually, I feel like would be just the normal, most common reaction. But this actually gives away a ton of the advantage. Like already, <laughs> uh, you go from about plus three to about plus one, and black begins to take over after a move like d5. And let's actually put you guys back on the screen for one more second. Uh, what would you guys play here? Because yet again, white has a small advantage, but it's already could be extinguished. You already have to play an only move to keep an advantage here. And it's not necessarily so easy. Bishop to b5 is being suggested. b5 is suggested. So, yeah, that's kind of the thing that 17 is saying. It must be a good opening if they are only plus one after a mistake. And it is kind of a critical line, although I will... We're going to go into the most critical line, and that's where I'm actually going to take the time out and play Stockfish. Bishop to b3 is being suggested. Bishop to e2 being suggested. Uh, one of these moves is definitely the best move. One problem that... The, bishop e2 looks super natural, but actually, if you put your bishop back on e2... All of a sudden, it's really hard for white to develop. Even though, like, there's a whole piece here. Black actually should get a big attack, uh, starting either with queen to g5 or just developing some pieces. Um, queen h5 check is uh, being suggested. This is not the main move. So this pawn is protected. Sometimes there's this trick. I assume that I can just play g6, and then you're going to have two pieces hanging. So objectively, maybe this is fine. Maybe I'm only going to get this piece back. It's probably not fine, but... Uh, objectively, that's not going to be the best move. You do, you should save your bishop or make a counterattack. And yeah, this is the other interesting one. And we'll actually turn this on for a second. You can see already b5 is the only move. <laughs> and you can play around for yourself. But b5 is just 100% the only way to go. And you'll notice it's only on plus one now. So if we do return and kind of look at the critical, critical line... Obviously, I'm going to open this up to viewers, so I assume maybe we'll get to see like a whole bunch of interesting lines here. But after F takes, you basically have to play the critical move, which is B5. And this is where we'll, we'll let you see. The reason that I kind of uh, want to call this the weasel is, is check this out. We'll keep the engine on because whatever. Um, if we move our knight, now our e-pawn is hanging. And these sacrifices with only one piece, they're not cutting it anymore. So this is like a Halloween gambit, but we're going to sacrifice two pieces. Queen to f6, <laughs> defending our pawn, allows white to take a second piece. And just to show you how crazy I am, actually, we'll put this on one more time. Uh, you see there, you know, the engine is really not going to like what I want to play in this move. Boom. Taking back towards the center, plus five, with the idea of playing d5 next. So after here, d5, bishop to b3 is approximately where we are going to start. And I think from this position, this is the main most critical line. I think that I can defeat Stockfish. Maybe not on the first try, but I do think I can defeat Stockfish here. Uh, right now it's at plus four, it goes up to plus five. It's in the plus four to plus five range. And I'm now going to challenge the fish. Uh, and I don't know if I can win on the first try, but I, I do think I can beat it. I think there are, there are some positions it thinks are plus 10, but it's one of these long-term attacking kinds of positions. Um, people are asking if this was prepared by Leela Zero for this one. This question I actually do want to pause. I actually used four engines uh, for this video. Um, so I, I always use uh, Stockfish 12 plus NNUE, which is stronger, admittedly, than what Lee Chess is running here, but they're very similar. Uh, I always use Leela Chess 0. I also, this time, incorporated Fat Fritz and, I guess, Komodo, but it was some friend's version that, I guess, I guess now it's called, um, oh my gosh, wow, gosh, life is good, oh, oh, oh. Oh, I've got some good news. Um, and I used, uh, I guess, I guess Komodo is now called Dragon. I, that one, it was, it was a, it was a buddy using that one to run it. So four engines went into the making of this, and uh, now I'm going to to take on uh, the engine. Three minutes per side sounds great. Level eight, the highest level. I want to be playing with the black pieces. 
And Stockfish wastes no time. Captures my guy right away. So I'm going to capture on e4. And b5 is the only move. And here I'm proposing queen to f6. Defending this pawn. And then I want to capture towards the center, which I think is actually a lot more dangerous than capturing the other way. So he does run back after the bishop moves away. Uh, we get this structure. And this kind of... I don't know why it reminds me of a weasel. <laughs> Maybe it shouldn't, but here I'm going to support the center. Uh, eventually I'll be able to castle. If he goes here, I play bishop to h4. And if we both castle, I'm actually... Ooh. If we both castle, I'm threatening bishop f3. Um, if he goes here, he might play rook f1, though. No, he castles. Okay, so this, I think, I think we've transposed to the line I was hoping to get. So bishop to f3. Oh, he takes. Taking is wrong. But I think it's what Stockfish wanted to do, so I shouldn't be too surprised. Um, the point here, though, is I want to take back with a rook, and he just keeps taking. Stockfish is so greedy. <laughs> Stockfish just keeps taking all of my stuff. But the main point is you want to take here, bring this in here, and it's checkmate. So I think I guess I start with it. Could also bring another rook. But I think I start here. Oh, maybe I should take this guy, actually. Um, what is he doing? Okay, let me take here. I probably should have started with this, but maybe it's the same. Oh! Oh no, I can't I can't stop stop with the good news. I'm trying to. <laughs> this is gonna require a little bit of focus. I'm happy if white wants the rook. The rook has nothing to do with the position. So hopefully... Oh. <laughs> it attacks my queen. So... I take... I don't see a defense. Oh. That's surprising. I want to go back... And I want to go here, and I want to checkmate you. Oh. So now I can go here. Oh, he's just giving everything back. Also, h6 is kind of interesting. h6 just saying, I want this square. I don't even want to take you right away. But I, I'm, I'm no longer familiar with the position, so I'm going to just... take this. And I'm going to try to go back. I'm going to try to sneak my way back in... Oh, no. Um, all right, well, I'm going to try to sneak my way back in. Ooh, he's threatening to mate me. Where is he? Well, he's not threatening to mate me. All right, I'm still going to go over here. Oh, I could have just taken there and made a draw, but I guess that just is an admission that I'm winning. Is... <laughs> Uh, shoot. Okay. Oh, oh. Just be a little careful. Um, shoot. It's just gonna go here, though. Okay, I think I just need some luft. Oh, no! Okay, so this was a bad go. Ah, oh, no! What did I do wrong? Ah, oh, bad go. Okay, so yeah, it actually played something I wasn't ready for. I, but I must have been winning. It allowed a draw right here, so I must have been winning. Ah, I bet you I can do this, though. I felt like I was playing well. Here's what I had prepared. I, I'm going to play it again. Um, <clears throat> so let's let's study this together and then see if we can defeat the machine after all. So uh, queen f6, so all of this was prep. I was in this position mainly prepared to face castles, castles, and then h3, but we actually transposed. And here, despite what Stockfish says, I intend on playing bishop to f3. And it will get as high as plus 10. But I think if you take, you get checkmated. Um, let's see if I can actually remember why. Takes. Queen comes in here. What did I do wrong? You want to play rook f3. Queen to e1. Um, so this all seems like it's, it's going according to plan. So I didn't really know all of this. But here, like, I must be winning, because it gave back all of the pieces. Oh, h6 is possible! Oh, I was thinking about h6, but I decided to just take this thing, uh, which is actually the best. Now, 
Huh. But I'm, yeah, I'm totally winning. So I should play this again and just see if I can. I, I just want to repeat this. Where did I? Where did I goof? <laughs> I, so I need in this position. I'm, I'm totally winning. But here it just keeps going back and forth. I guess I play queen f3, and it has to give up a queen or give up an f pawn. Okay. Well, here let's let's try this one more time. Let's run it. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. So I was winning. But uh, we didn't we didn't quite get there in the end. So here's our main position. I want to study board editor. I want to play from here from position. All right, let's continue from here. Let's play the computer one more time. I had a feeling this this might not go 100% according to plan, but we got a winning position, so we will try this one more time. Um, okay. So this time I will take here and play queen to f6. This is the main idea. This is just for the uh, the newer viewers kind of rolling in. We're just trying to give everybody a good feeling for the weasel pawn structure. Again, not committed to the name. We'll take some more name suggestions after this. Defending the center is an important ingredient. And will white actually repeat all the way what we did? So is it h3 again or is it castles? h3 again. And I hope he castles. Okay, so castles. And if pawn takes, this greedy variation, I don't think it's very good for white. I know Stockfish is really hot on it, thinks it's about plus 10. I'm not so keen. I think this is really good for black. I'm also a human that just looks at the position. Uh, did I start with the knight last time? I'm going to start with the queen. I don't know if that changes anything. All right, now in comes the knight. He might sack the knight again. That's what it did previously. Um... And again, the rook doesn't matter. Last time it just gave the bishop away for free. So let's grab it. Free bishops. I'll take them. And then we just go back. We put the guy here and here. So again, he's going to give the bishop. H6 is the move, huh? I'm going to do what I did last time. H6 apparently is a, a playable move. But this worked really well. Oh, the pawn's here. This actually is different. So this is not 100% the same as the last time that we played. But now I got pressure here. And I'm gonna sneak in here, threaten to take the knight. He's, I got lots of time, so we actually can figure this one out. We should be able to win. I think I just need to go here. New gambits. Hey, thanks, Zach. Um, this blunders a rook. Thank you so much. Let's see. So instead of blundering my rook, I need this knight to go here and the queen here. I just need the rook to not be here. This is passive though. It might be fine. I don't. Under I don't know what it does. So knight f four. Can you play rook h one? No, it can't. Shouldn't be able. Okay, I'm going to go here. Oh, and then it gives the queen. I guess I take the queen, huh? Okay, so now we're clearly winning. We're literally up a queen. Okay, let's not mess this up. I kind of want to go back. <laughs> uh, let's just activate all the pieces. And then, oh, okay. I'll take that guy. All right, so we're going to win this one. And we also have tons of time just in case we can't figure it out. We get there in the end. Nice. Hey, we did it. All right. So easy win. Yeah, we were able to take it down. Oh, fan. Thanks for the bits as well. Uh, I'm going to put you guys back on the screen for just a second. So there we have it. I was actually able to take down Stockfish. It took me two tries, but uh, the great Stockfish has gone down to our mighty new gambit. Uh, I'm probably going to end it the YouTube video around here. I'm taking suggestions for names both on the screen and in YouTube comments, if that's where you're watching this later. Um, so, I, And then we're going to play some viewers. So I think one of the best ways, it's nice to see how you can get just kind of a, a nasty, vicious attack against the computer. But here's the main idea. It's like a Halloween Gambit, except for you, like, you double down on it. You're sacking a piece to try to get this huge center. But imagine if I told you you could have the Halloween Gambit, but then sack another piece and get more pawns in the center. So for some reason, this reminds me of a weasel. 
I, I don't know. I watched a documentary on weasels. Uh, but but that's it for here. So thank you if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, please subscribe. And let me know if you want more of these videos. I'm about to play some viewers. So if you want to see some of the games I play with them, just let me know in the comments below.